What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Trucker's Life. I am Jorge Navarro. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, welcome back guys. And thank you so much for all the wishes that you guys gave to uh, Don's family that unfortunately we lost to uh, cancer two days ago. He was one of uh, one of my ride or dies here from the, from the channel. He was, uh, I guess that wasn't appropriate to say. Um, he was one of my subscribers, family members that had been with me from the beginning. And um, unfortunately, his sister uh, sent me an email yesterday that he lost his battle with cancer. And he just called me a few days, uh, well, actually a few weeks ago, to let me know that he had been diagnosed with cancer. Uh, brain cancer, I think is what it was. And um, I opened up that message yesterday and it was to find out that he's no longer with us. So um, rest in peace to him and uh, rest in peace to all everybody that's been lost to that horrific, terrible illness, cancer, for lack of better terms. I wish I could say other things, but this is not the, the place to do that. But anyways, I am uh, here I am in uh, Virginia, I'm in Virginia off of Highway 77, headed up to Indianapolis. This is an overnighter. And the place where I loaded, well actually what I loaded, I, I got to have a load of, of um, used motor oil in here. And of, of all different types, just a bunch of used motor oil. And uh, it's not hazmat, so just in case you guys want to know, motor oil is normally not hazmat. So this load's not hazmat, that's the only reason I'm talking about it. If not, I wouldn't be talking about it. But uh, anyways, where I loaded, man, I met this, uh, the, the guy that loaded me, just uh, just a wonderful person. And, I, and this is what I'm going to miss. This is what I'm going to miss about being out here over the road and talking to people of different walks of life. And um, I'm gonna miss that, I really am. And I'm gonna miss seeing uh, a bunch of different stuff, new, newer stuff, stuff that I haven't seen yet, right? But uh, you guys know the reason why. But anyways, I wanna give a shout out to uh, Chris. I wanna give a shout out to Chris. Chris, man, it was my pleasure to have uh, been able to have a conversation with him, guys. A little bit about Chris. Chris is a car guy big car guy and what I liked about him is that he doesn't have a preference on specific car he just loves cars uh, mostly the older muscle cars which is uh, something that I love as well and uh, you know he wasn't just a Ford guy or just a Chevy guy he liked a little bit of everything and he's a Harley Davidson rider so that that in itself we you know we just clicked we started talking and and had some great conversation and he was asking me about how things are out here how do I see things you know as far as uh, the virus and uh, you know other stuff and and we had a, we had just a an amazing an amazing amazing conversation very constructive and yeah I had fun I had fun so shout out to you Chris shout out to your uh, your son your grandson or your grandbaby. I don't... It's a granddaughter, I think. I don't remember, Chris. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But I know... I know he has a, a, a grandchild. <laughs> that, uh... If I'm not mistaken, is two years old. And he's got a son that's 28 years old. And his, and then he's uh, married to his... He's married to his wife. <laughs> his wife is a uh, hairstylist, so... Um, shout out to her as well. Hopefully you enjoy that little cross that, that I sent you. And um, I hope you uh, get back to work soon. I really do. But anyways, we, we one thing that I do, guys, and i kind of leery about doing it sometimes is I pass out these little metal, not metal, these little um, glass crosses like this one that you see right here. And um, I pass them out, but I... I ask people before I, I give it to them if they would accept it because there are some uh, I don't want to push my religion or, or my beliefs on anybody and there are some beliefs out there that do not believe in those things so 
I like to respect that. But anyways, so we uh, we traded crosses. He gave me, I gave him that one, and he gave me this one to keep in my pocket, which is amazing. He said he just put it in his pocket a week ago, and uh, I told him I said that's meant for me. <laughs> and he also gave me this this cool little pocket knife, amazing. So, anyways. Thank you so much, Chris. I really enjoyed your conversation. You seem like an amazing person. And I will uh, post a picture of, of him right here so you guys can uh, see who I'm talking about. And, yep. But, uh, yeah, we're out here. Mountain goat. That's what I call mountain goat. When I'm up, going up and down mountains, I call it mountain goat. And I'm out here mountain goating, mountain climbing. Hot chocolate's getting her little workout. And uh, we should be going through a tunnel here pretty soon. One of two. I already passed one. And then uh, we'll have the, the, the next one coming up here pretty soon. They're pretty long. And uh, actually, we've done a video going through them before. So it's uh, nothing new. But just thought you guys want to ride through one here with me. As uh, we're headed up. But, yeah, that's... Uh, pretty much what's going on right now so I'm gonna go ahead and keep on paying attention to the highway put her in the wind and I'm gonna put on some country music on here so we can just jam out for a little while and I'll uh, probably go to, through one or two songs and then uh, we might catch up with you guys later if not we'll see you guys on our next video so let's ride To it used to be home Passing by those little towns I know so well Stopping for gas And then I'm behind the wheel again Driving this like a spiritual cleanse Where every mile is a new beginning And every friend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving to get away High and low Holding on or letting go I'm fighting Another day Neon lights in the fast lane light Riding high, reaching for the sky I had it all but lost And fell back down again Spent my time playing the game Where every single day was a losing battle And every drink was a dead end I'm living fast, I've lost my soul I'm driving to get away Running through emotions high and low Holding on or letting go I'm fighting another day
sure is beautiful country out here. I sure would love to be on a motorcycle. Maybe one day, maybe one day I can do a cross country on a motorcycle and get to enjoy these places. Beautiful scenery. So this is our second tunnel. What's the name of this tunnel? Well, it just says East River Mountain. East River Mountain Tunnel. Indicated to Edward Steele, I think it said. Ooh, you know what I would love to go do? I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them, but there's a, a section of highway, and I'm not sure where it's at. I know it's over here on the east somewhere. There's a section of highway that was uh, abandoned or something, and there's a couple of tunnels that are supposedly pretty long. And the story is that one of the tunnels is, is haunted by, by a girl. Something about a girl. Um, Y'all might want to look that, look that up, but... There's two tunnels that you can go through. Now, I'm the scariest scaredy cat you can ever think of. But if I'm in a group of people, I'd definitely go through there. I would love to go through there and just uh, document that. There was a whole, a whole bunch. Well, actually, there's there's a guy. Um, man, I can't remember his name because I need to, I should have put, yeah, I can't remember his name. But this guy, he's walking across the United States because his dad uh, passed away from cancer as well and he's walking from the East Coast to the West Coast and a few days ago well actually like over a week ago he went through them by himself yeah pitch dark I mean it is pitch dark in there because it's a pretty long tunnel and uh, yeah he went through them by himself yeah no no but he's on TikTok but I can't remember his name. If I find his name, I will uh, put it down here on the screen or I'll link his uh, TikTok if I can, if I can figure that out. There's a fire truck right there. Shout out, shout out to the fire firefighters out there. Heavy holler, calling it for the day. It's already starting to get dark, so he's got to call it for the day. But yeah, um, anyways, but that guy, he, uh, he's just going across, walking across the United States. Uh, with uh, just with a backpack and a tent and stuff like that and he spends the night outside and It's crazy how some people can have the audacity actually to tell them to tell him uh, uh, it, You know, it's it, it's it's not anything new. It's not like it hasn't been done before It doesn't matter if it hasn't been done before He's doing it for a cause that he really believes in and I think he's getting money together for it, too and uh with everybody we're losing the cancer, man, I think that that is an amazing, an amazing thing that he's doing. If I had the time and money, I would try something like that. I really would. I would try something like that. And I know it'd be crazy, especially for my size type of person, but, you know, the other day I had, well, the other live, I don't know if that person was, uh, was being funny or they were just being uh, rude I, I didn't let it get under my skin because they were talking about my weight me going into flat bedding and then they were talking about my weight and and that, that I'm not in shape for it but if it's one thing I've, I've known oh I've learned to know is that if, if I put my mind to do something I can get it done and for somebody to say stuff like that, I don't know what you have in your head to, instead of encouraging, you're trying to put people down. I just don't get it. I just don't. And that guy there, you know, people, some people have said those things to him that, you know, it's not nothing new. It's not like anybody, nobody's ever done it before. Well, yeah, but he hasn't done it before. And he hadn't done it for his dad before. So let him do his thing. That is, to me, is just amazing to be able to do something like that. I would love to. 
I would love to, I don't know about the walking part, but I would love to ride a motorcycle. And it's been done before too, before somebody says this hasn't been, <laughs> it's already been done. But just me, myself, what well, my bucket list is uh, ride a motorcycle, not a Harley, more something more touring, comfortable to ride from uh, Canada down to South America. Oh wow, would that be a dream for me? A dream come true. And I know that I would go through a lot of bad stuff, but just uh, to have the opportunity to do it, I think it's amazing. But don't knock people that try stuff like that. You know, until, well actually let's put it this way, until you've done it yourself, you can't knock them. You go out and try it. Just like out here on the road, a lot of people talk noise to us and talk noise about us and, and this and, you know, this and that and the other. And come out here and try it. Come out here and try it. probably will change your mind about our lifestyle out here you know yes I, I show things that I do that are fun but it's not all fun and games and those of you truck drivers out there you guys know exactly what I'm talking about this is this is not all fun and games but we make the best of it that's what's amazing we make the best of it if, if you if you choose to you can also choose to be depressed and upset and pissed off at the world all the time which there are a lot of drivers out there that are like that, that are upset at everything and everybody. But, no, not me. Not me. I loved every minute of it. I'm still loving every minute of it. And I'm going to really miss it. I really am. Think about it every day. Ever since I decided to make that that change I really uh, been thinking about how much I'm going to miss it but then you know what I just think about my kids and it all goes away <laughs> it all goes away I know some of you guys are tired of hearing hearing me talk about this change and this change and this change but you know it's just something I'm going through just sharing it with you guys the transition on uh, going from one thing to the other I've been doing this for so long, been doing the tankers for so long, I'm not even gonna know how to drive. I mean, I ain't, I'm not even gonna know how it feels to drive a, a truck without waiting for the surge to, to back in the back of you or to uh, stopping somewhere and, and waiting for that surge to come back and spank you in the rear end, for lack of better terms. <laughs> and uh, it's been good. I always said I was never going to do this. And I'm not going to say I won't ever do it again. But for now, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I always said I would never do tankers because I was always scared of it. But once I did it, absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Now, I don't think it's the best thing for for an owner operator as far as the truck though because it beats the heck out of the truck. It really does. If you're gonna buy a used truck, I would definitely do your homework in making sure that the truck you're buying has never pulled tankers before. I would definitely do that because the transmissions and the rear ends are a little more wore out than what your regular truck will be because of all the surging that we have to deal with. Especially the automatic trucks. Not, not talking bad about automatic trucks, but you know, transmission has been beaten on, or these loads, these the surge has been beaten on them as well. Check out this bridge right here. I always like looking at these old uh, train tracks, old train bridges. I mean, it'd be cool to ride on a train going over those where you can't even see the track. You just you look over and it's nothing but a put the drop off. <laughs> oh man. Let's get over. This is the first time I pulled an air ride in Ooh, so long. It feels so good to pull this air ride. The surge ain't even as bad with this thing. It's just
just floating like a Cadillac. <laughs> Alright, let's drop one more. I don't have to drop any more. I have to drop one more. Yeah, we're coming up on this truck pretty good here. Try to, yeah, we're gonna leave her in that gear. I think she's pulling pretty good right there. Airplane. The young lady driving that truck. Demographics have definitely changed out here. There's a lot more ladies out here. And you're definitely welcome out here. But yeah, there's a lot more ladies out here than there used to be maybe even 10 years ago. Oh, there goes my engine fan kicking in. She's getting a little warm. I was going to get over to the right lane, but it's about to end. Going slower than the truck behind me. But speed again. All right. There we go. Engine fan just kicked out. She's not the strongest truck in the world, but she pulls the heel pretty nice. She doesn't give it up pretty easy. Well, that didn't come out right, did it? <laughs> But anyways, my beautiful people, I'm going to let y'all go. It's starting to get a little dark out here. You're not going to be able to see much here in a little bit anyways. Thanks again to Chris. Thank you again, Chris, for uh, being the good person that you are. It seems like you are. and had a great conversation with you. Again, uh, rest in peace to Don. Really going to miss... Uh, messaging you and talking to you every once in a while like I did but uh hope you're hopefully now you're with no more pain and you're up there with God and that puts a smile on my face guys don't forget to be kind to one another help anybody needs help anybody contemplating suicide 1-800-273-8255 military men and women thank you so much for your service from a trucker's life and from my family thank you so much see you guys on the next video peace